maintain a nonprofit called the OP Music House. We have live music events all over Western New York. Um, once we have all the people assembled, then we promote local bands, original bands, and then I throw in what I have to say. I was a victim of domestic violence for 22 years, from the age of 17. Um, I left three times and returned three times, and uh, I can tell you whatever you want to know about it. So, um, some important points I want to make is abuse is control, and a, a control crosses the lines of gender, color, creed, financial resources. It doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl or both or anything. It does not matter because it happens to everybody. Um, so I personally um, support people right across the country through chat on Facebook, through the phone, even in my living room, um, just so people know that they're not alone. Um, the, the, human, the biggest red flag is extreme jealousy. And, and if somebody is trying to take away something that you love to do, if somebody, the things that make you you, if somebody's trying to take that away from you, it's a humongous red flag. You need to maintain your identity and do the things that you love to do. And if somebody's trying to take it away, it's a bad thing. I have a brief um, but very important dedication um, today. I have a, a good friend who was in an abusive marriage for, I believe, 30 years. Her name is Sherry Wendy Robertson. One of the things that we do, OP Music House, we have a global three-day annual event, and it's called the Exposure Concert because love shouldn't hurt. We have 40 local bands. Last year, Sherry came from Boston, so 40 local bands plus Sherry. Um, and they perform, they donate a set of music, and it's three days long. It streams live around the world via stream. Uh, last year's event was at Club Paradise in Blaisdell, and it was watched from uh, eight countries and 37 states, 32 states, a whole bunch. Um, and the stats aren't in this year, but this year we held it at Pages Paradise Island, and it was just a big, beautiful, awesome thing. So I'm a big promoter of original bands. I host um, two radio shows, one up the road at WBNY. It's called Susan Palooza Spotlight. Um, I bring on original bands, interview them, and freely promote you. So if you know if anybody who's in an original band, um, there's flyers down here and up there of the schedule of this year's show. Our contact information's on there. Twice tonight, you're going to be entertained by my friend Sarah, who is also a survivor. Um, she recently just claimed that title. Um, she was behind the scenes doing doing things and watching in a supporting capacity, and, and, and it took her time to find her voice. And she's an artist and a dancer and a beautiful soul. Um, what finally got me to get out of my relationship, because I'm asked all the time, there's two things I'm asked all the time, um, why do you stay? It's because it's, a, it's, it's not like you go on a date you get punched in the face. It's a slow, gradual process. And over a period of time, they peel your layers off like an onion. Um, it'll start with your family. Why are you, hey, what, what's wrong with your sister? Why is your mom like that? And, and they make you feel funny about your own family. And they make you second guess yourself your friends, and, and by the time I popped my head above water, I looked around and I was alone. I had no social support, no network, nobody to talk to. So it's a horrible feeling to feel that there's there's no one there for you. And it's not like I'm going to go to my mom and say, saying I'm getting beat up because it was a slow, gradual thing. It starts off with, with just insults and, and, and removing you from things that you want. So and I wasn't able to go roller skating anymore. I grew up in Carousel and South Buff, West Seneca. But apparently everyone who goes roller skating is a horror, so I was removed from that. And that was my love. I lived with the roller rink. Um, so I have some friends that are musicians. Um, they've gotten in relationships, and they're hanging up their guitar. Of course, that breaks my heart. Now, we do offer support capacity. We're not an emergency shelter by any means. We're just a support group. We're somebody to talk to. Um, our phone number, contact information, the website is opmusichouse.org. And uh, the dedication, I totally got it. Wait, I'm so sorry. Sharon Wendy Robertson was in an abusive relationship for 30 years. Bastard of a man. And what finally made it for her was a tragic accident that took their baby son away at 20 years old in a car crash. So she is, she, she finally left that relationship after losing her son. Um, she has now found her voice through music, through expression, through writing. Um, this is her CD. Her name is Sharon Wendy Robertson. Sharon is with an E. And her
For sons, the death of his, the anniversary of his death is August 7th. He died in 2008. And um, Sharon, I'm filming this right now, and I'm sending this to her in Boston. And this is dedicated to Kevin Cantatori Jr., who left this world on August 7th, 2008. Love you, Sharon.